Yeah. Hiding like we thieves in the night, chasing the oasis. Riding through the streets in the night, swerving in a spaceship. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the channel. Today we are playing at the lovely Parks Casino in Pennsylvania. Hit the like button if you enjoyed that intro. We work very hard on that. Today we are playing 1-3 No Limit Hold'em. We sit down for 600. We are seven-handed. In the first playable hand, we pick up Ace-10 offsuit in the big blind. The player on my left in seat 7 makes the call. And then we see the late position player raise it to 15. Small blind gets out of the way. I make the call. Seat seven makes the call. We go to the flop three ways. I really don't know what to expect. I'm just trying to get the feel of the table and the intensity of the game. When the flop comes two, queen, three, we check and the board checks through. Redoing this hand, I probably would have bet here in this spot, but I didn't and we see a free card, which is the 10 of heart. We hit middle pair with top kicker and we're gonna lead out for 25. Seat seven is gonna make the fold and seat four is gonna come along and we go heads up to a river. The river comes, the jack of clubs, I'm gonna check. I take a totally passive line on his hand. He's gonna lead out for 35, and given the action, I ended up giving him credit for the queen. There's the jack over my uh, my pair. The, not, it's another Broadway card. The flush draw got there. I just hate the way I played this hand, and I'm just gonna like lay it down and just move on to the next hand. In this next hand, we pick up 9-7 offsuit in the small blind. I believe the big stack in seat five calls, we complete and we go three ways to a flop. The board comes 9-7, jack, rainbow, 10-8 is best. We flop two pair. The board checks through. The turn is the queen of diamonds. I can't afford to miss out on any more value, so I lead out for 16. All players fold, we take it down. There's something going on where we're not feeling right today. You know, the card room is packed. Our friends are here, but things aren't going our way. We really need things to pick up. In this next hand, we pick up Ace-5 offsuit in the cutoff. Several players limp, including myself. When the action gets back to the small blind, he makes a 10 to go. We go to the flop four ways. The board comes 9-A-3 with two hearts and two wheel cards. So we hit top pair with the measly kicker. The action checks around to me, so I need to evaluate where I am. I'm going to lead out for 18. I'm kind of anticipating seat one, the small blind, to push the action, but he ends up folding, as does everybody, and we take it down. In this next one, we pick up sailboats, pocket fours, the rampage hand. We come in the middle position and we limp. The action actually gets raised up to 18, and we decide to come along. At this point, we're trying to set mine and get lucky on a flop. Honestly, I should have just folded and got out of the way. I'm really being a fish right now. Of course the flop is gonna be all over cards and of course he's gonna see bet and of course we're gonna fold. If you like how I played that last hand, you're really gonna like this one. We pick up jack nine offsuit in the button. It actually limps to me, I raise it up to 10. One player calls. The big stack, seat five, is gonna wake up and raise to 30. I can't back down now, so I make the call. We go heads up to a flop. What am I getting myself into? I know what I'm thinking. I'm thinking I can double up through the sky. After all, I do have position. However, the poker gods have other ideas. The board is a trashy 7-7 seven, seven deuce. He's gonna lead out for 30, and I just give it up. In this next one, we have ace eight of diamonds in the big blind. I believe I made it 10 to go, and we're gonna go three ways to a flop, which comes king, six, six, two hearts. The action checks around to the big stack in seat five. He's gonna lead out for $10. Only I come along and we go to the turn, heads up. When the turn brings the queen of clubs, I'm really questioning what I'm doing in this hand. Each card gets worse and worse for me. 
I'm going to end up checking actually checks as well. The river comes to three of hearts, completing the flush. The board is paired. I'm going to check and just basically give up. He's being very deceitful in his hand. I just don't trust the guy. If he sneezes on the pot, I'm going to fold. He eventually decides on a bet of 30 and we just lay it down. I really should consider a table change, but I'm so stubborn. We stick it out, try to turn things around. In this hand, we're going to pick up ace jack on the button. I raise to 15 and guess what? Everyone folds. I'm a proud winner of six measly dollars. And to add insult to injury, casino staff comes over and busts me for recording and we're asked to leave. The only bright spot in my day really is the fact that I'm with my boys and that we actually have plans to meet up with Trevor Savage from Raising the Nuts and his wife Jody. Of course, we're all fans of Trevor Savage and his channel called Raising the Nuts. We actually met Trevor for the first time back in 2019 for a meetup game. Coincidentally, this is the same time I met Pan, and we've been rocking ever since. A few weeks prior, Trevor was kind enough to give us an awesome interview on Zoom where we talked about his career as a poker pro. We talked about building relationships with casinos, as well as other important topics like mental illness. We ended up eating at the Parks Grill. The food was good. The conversation was even better. This whole experience was so cool. Trevor, shout out to you. You and Jody are awesome. Anthony is cool too. Thanks for taking the time to meet up with some fans. And if you're down to do it again, we'll link if you're in the area. It's all good. And then we went to Panama. This is the first family My trip. My family and I were so excited to get away for the first time. And, you know, the kids had a blast. Uh, new places and learning new things. Uh, so good in the culture. It was definitely uh, a great experience. I've been working on something really major. Wouldn't it be sweet if we can have a home base at Resorts World Casino, which is right there. It is only about an hour away from me. I could be there often. You could have much more content coming your way. Wouldn't that be sweet? You know, RWC, do you see what I'm talking about? Can you feel the energy? All right, you know, you got my information. Let's make it happen. Let's, let's do something. We can both win at this. Smash that like button. What are you waiting for? If you made it this far in the video, please consider subscribing, all that good stuff, you know. It lets us know that you like what we're doing and encourages us to pump out more content. And if you'd like to know where we're going to be next, we're going back to RWC at the end of the month. Uh, I believe it's June 25th. That's a Friday. Look to catch up with a splash around. We're probably going to go to Dos Gatos to get some, some tacos and some tequila. So, Hang out with us there. You know, let's take some pictures. Just hang out. All right. We're going to see you in the next video. All right. As always, peace.